Hey there, so today we have another beer talk and this is inspired by a couple things. First off, I'm drinking a big, big, hazy triple IPA right now. So um, I wanted to go through uh, that inspiration and also talk about those drain pours that I recently did. So we're gonna cover the drain pours first. So uh, the drain pour, those happen. And I think a lot of people were surprised because those were highly, highly rated beers and it's very anomalous that I just absolutely hated them. A, one thing could have been was that it was shipped to me. Then I brought it up to Vermont to share, didn't share them, brought it back to New York and then had them. And so maybe the moving around of the beer was the issue. And then maybe you shouldn't move around those beers that much and they get super stringent. The other thing that could be possible is that I ended up having only hazy IPAs that weekend and my palate got super, super, super densely, densely, densely fatigued. And then by the time that I reviewed those uh, day, af uh, day after the uh, bachelor party, after multiple days of just drinking those beers, my palate was just completely wrecked and still felt it. Granted, I will say I had, you know, after not enjoying those beers, I had actually enjoyed a full can of a beer um, afterwards. Uh, I believe it was an alchemist beer and I had no problem with it. So I, I honestly don't know what the explanation is. So uh, I just hope that helps somewhat. But this discussion is about what you're drinking is like these days. And this prompted from a beer. So up in the bachelor party, one of my friends who doesn't enjoy beer sometimes, he got tired of it. Uh, he calls these beers, I actually will want to call them uh, this these days. Um, I'll spare you the expletive, but he calls them FU IPAs. And it's really funny when he actually used the expletive because it, 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 it is an FU IPA. It comes in a 16 ounce can. It's eight to 10%. It's hazy. It doesn't, you know, take back from flavor. It's got so much fruit flavor and big hop notes going on. There's nothing refreshing. There's no high carbonation. There's nothing crisp about it. There's nothing lager-like about it. It's just as F you to your palate. And so I thought that was really interesting. And honestly, we didn't plan that well uh, for the party. About only a handful or so of us were uh, drinking, a bunch of us uh, geeks. And we just brought all cans of eight plus percent, 16 ounce, hazy IPA. Um, nobody planned around for bringing some light beer, maybe some Founders All Day, or maybe even just like some Miller Light or something. Nobody planned around that. And unfortunately, you know, we had a couple craft Pilsners here and there, a couple four packs here and there. Those were obviously quickly consumed. And so all we had in the fridge, you know, every time you reach in, it's like, oh, let me try something different. Nope. We have big Bourbon County beers, or we, you have to crack open a 16 ounce of an 8% FU hazy, big monstrous, non-refreshing uh, IPA. And over that weekend, I will say, despite the fact that I enjoy the style, it gets so tiring. The, the, the beers just sort of get a little bit repetitive to you. And unless they're all super, super world-class without that astringency, you start noticing the astringency more and you just get tired of drinking it. You just want something that you know prickles your uh, tongue a little bit. At one point in the middle of the night, my friend was just screaming. He, he, he actually got angry and said, like, I would pay for an $8 Bud Light right now. And you sort of understand that. He's like, man, I'm so sorry. I really wish we like planned it better because I'm not against it. You know, maybe sometimes you do want to enjoy Bud Light after drinking all these hazy big IPAs all day or drinking barrel aged stouts all day. You want to sit down and enjoy something light. You know, maybe it has to be a craft pilsner, but it even can be a macro beer. There are times and places for all kinds of beers. So I want to ask you guys whether you guys have gotten tired of the New England style IPA or what styles of beers have you gotten tired of? For me, um, I, I know I review a lot of these styles and I don't get really tired of them, but that those few days were very testing, you know, drinking. I mean, I obviously enjoy every single can, but you know, three ounces of this one and you keep going through dozens of them in one night and then the next night. And it's just, you know, endless amounts of hazy to hazy, the hazy, hazy, every, every, every can we open is another hazy beer. And it's just an endless amount of it. I will say by the end of it, I got a little tired of it. So, um, that is certainly a thing. So, are you tired of anything that's happening in beer right now or what you're enjoying? But also, what is a steer towards something that you'd like to see? For me, me personally, I would like to see myself go back to a few more of the basic beers. It's been a little minute since I've done some of those education videos and it's good for my own personal education to revitalize my, uh, jog up my memory a little bit and also maybe help me towards Maybe I'm planning on doing a BJCP certification or advanced sister. I'm not quite sure yet. Uh, another one that I'd like to jog up my uh, memory for is food pairing. Maybe do some more, more, more food pairing videos. And again, more for education myself and for you guys. So um, that's just some things randomly off the top of my head that I'm trying to think of when, you know, 
when I do more uh, reviews and, and how I enjoy my beers. But I want you guys to post below what you've gotten tired of and what you see in the future soon that you want to change about your drinking. Until next time, cheers. Later.